Today we're going to be solving the 21st challenge on Ethan Hawk Card Shop. What's the goal of this challenge? Can you get the item from the shop for less than the price asked? Scroll down and I'll copy this code over to my code editor and also deploy this challenge. Okay, I've copied the code from Ethernaut over to my code editor. Let's go over what the goal of this challenge is again. The goal of this challenge is to get the item from the shop for less than the price asked. So what does this mean? It means that we need to set the state variable is sold to true. And we also need to set the price to less than 100. Scroll down. Initially, the price is set to 100 and is sold is set to false. There is only one public function that we can call. When we call this, we somehow need to be able to execute the code inside this if condition set is sold to true and the price to lower than 100. Okay, so how can we do this? Let's go over how this function by works. When we call it, it will load the interface at our address. So this will be message.sender. We will be calling this function for another contract. So it will load the interface at our contract. And then it will ask our contract, is the price that we quote greater than the price that is stored in this contract, 100. And also is sold must be false. When these two conditions are met, it sets it sold to true. And then afterwards, it set the state variable price to what we said it was over here. So for the first condition to be true, the first call to the function price must satisfy that it must be greater than or equal to price. This means that when this function is called, it must be greater than or equal to 100. However, on the second call, it calls again and it sets the price. Notice that the objective of this goal is that we need to somehow set the price to less than 100. So this means that on the first call, we need to get this price to be greater than or equal to 100. However, on the second call, this must be less than 100. How can we do this? Well, let's start off by writing a contract. I'll name this contract hack. And inside this contract, I'll store the shop as an interface. So I'll say shop, private, immutable, I'll name it target. And I'll declare a constructor. Constructor will take in the address of the shop, name it target. And then we'll say target is equal to shop at underscore target. Okay, next we'll write a function called pwn external. And inside here, we'll write our code to beat the challenge. But first, let's try to write the function price. So I'll say function price external view returns uint. On the first call, to meet this condition over here, the price must be 100. So on the first call, we must somehow say return 100. So over here, I'll say first call must return 100. However, on the second call, second call, we must return something less than 100. For example, let's say 99. So how can we make so that this function price will return 100 on the first call and then something less than 199 on the second call? What we need is some kind of conditional statement that will return 100 on the first call and then 99 on the second call. But since this is a view function, we cannot write any state variables inside here. So how can we do this? Well, if we scroll up, notice that after it gets the price by calling price on the first call, Afterwards, it sets its sold to true and then calls the price again. So this means that inside here, we know that this function price was called once if its sold is equal to true. See over here, its sold is set to true. So when its sold is set to true, we know that this function price was called at least once. What do we do over here? We're going to say if target dot is sold then it's going to be the second call so we'll return 99 otherwise if it's sold is false then we'll assume that it is the first call and then return 100. okay we're now ready to write the function pwn so what do we need to do over here we'll need to call the function buy so say target dot buy and after we call the function target by, let's double check that the price over here is set to 99. So say require target dot price is equal to 99. Else something went wrong and I'll say the error message is price not equal to 99. And that completes the code to win this challenge. We're going to call the function pwn. It's going to call the function by. 
the function buy will call the function price on our hack contract twice. First time, it's going to return a 100. On the second call to the function price, it sold will be set to true, so it will return 99. So, it sold will be set to true, and then price will be set to 99. And we completed the two goals of this challenge. Set is sold to true and set the price to less than 100. Next, I'm going to copy this code over to Remix and then deploy the contract. I've copied the code from my code editor over to Remix. Let's try compiling the contract. Hit Control S and the contract compiles. Next, I'm going to deploy the hack contract. And to deploy this, I'm going to need the address of the shop contract, which I will get by going to Ethernet. Inside Ethernet, I'll get the address of this contract shop by typing F12. And then inside my browser console, I'll get the contract address. Paste it inside Remix. And then let's now deploy the hack contract. Click on Deployment tab. Make sure you're connected to Gordy Testnet. And then select the hack contract. Copy the address of the shop contract. Paste it here. Click Deploy. Confirm transaction and then wait for the transaction to be processed. Okay, the contract hack was deployed. So expand the hack contract and we'll need to call the function point. Confirm the transaction and the transaction went through. So the last step is to submit our instance on Ethernet. Once you beat the challenge, you'll see the button change to go to the next level. See you in the next level.